not only from myself, but multiple, uh, not only the research and my contacts that I have in Chicago, the ones that actually trade, uh, some of the people that trade at some of the commercial entities and some of the other operations there, I myself, or, or the, the reason you want to track cumulative delta, why it's so important, is uh, at present time over 70% of, uh, of the commercials order flow is, is interjected or covered out of the markets with market orders. So commercials put the predominance of their order flow into the market with market orders at the bidder ask as they're exiting positions, flattening them out, taking partial profits, or initiating new trade. So if you're not paying attention to that, you'll never kind of see the signature or the order flow distributions created from the larger participants and the order and their order flow uh, that they're managing or handling in the market. Okay, real quick, any of these recent bars, they just went neutral. Uh, we've negated that area again. We've got another full-on inventory grab. So the market's still very negative. Euro was dropping there again a little bit. Equity still uh, firing off some uh, pretty significant sell programs. Uh, market probably trying to get down and test this, you know, 1100s, uh, this area below. Now there's no inventory associated any longer at this 1198 level. That's a dead level. There's no, no more inventory associated with that level. So like I've told you before, we start getting these inventory grabs. The market's in a process of trying to find support. So for those of you that know, you know all the uh, criteria for the inventory grab, you understand the method. Obviously, you can take trade setups uh, in this area price accordingly. Another thing you can wait for and look for a, a shift in equities per the way I've shown you through the scalping videos uh, if you want to wait for some confirmation. Uh, let this thing run a little bit, get a pullback, get another shift in equities, and then join the trade. That's another way you can do it. Or just jump in, take your normal inventory grab, long trade setup uh, once you actually get the criteria met, and then just manage it uh, you know, in a prudent manner. Let's say you have Joe Retail Trader that bought, <clears throat> uh, earlier this morning, he bought 110475s on an inventory grab. So he's long off 110475s and 80% of his position he took off on the way up. He put a stop at uh, break even. Uh, later on in the day, he's like, damn it, this market's coming back down to me. The market's racing towards him, and instead of him waiting to get stopped out at break even, he says, screw this. Boom, he clicks on his thing. Uh, buy it, you know, he buy, buys that market, uh, he sells that market to cover his last portion of his long trade. So he is capitulating, he's letting go of his position at market. So he had conviction, he had a reason why he wanted to suddenly get out of the market. Uh, now, commercials down here, knowing that all the long inventory was uh, vacated, neutralized, there's nobody else of any significant size as far as no large commercial entities that are at all holding any long inventory in the ES electronic contract as we conducted the major inventory grab uh, that, they've, that, that, they, that they had interjected or built up or accumulated in the market through market-driven order flow. You know, let's say they say, okay, I want to buy I want to buy this area then. Well, they can literally buy uh, at market with the uh, capability I've told you. Uh, commercials right now have the ability to interject 950 single one lot orders separated as separate little microsecond orders, one after the other, after the other, after the other, after the other. Commercials with their algorithmic automated uh, abilities to enter and leave the market, they can interject and take those 950 orders and put them into the market as separate broken down single lot orders in one second of time. 